Hi, this is Katie, the owner of Tim Shingle, and I'm gonna tell you about Tim Shingle's editorial calendar collection. I'm gonna tell you about editorial calendars in general, and I'm gonna myth bust your reliance on an editorial calendar and tell you why you don't need it. But I will also tell you what Tim Shingle does have to help make your job of pitching the press a little bit easier. Editorial calendars in our collection are from print magazines. We do offer media contacts, in other uh, genres, such as blogs and podcasts and television. But for editorial calendars, it's in magazines. Tin Shingle as a whole, the membership that you are considering purchasing is based on teaching how to get the word out about your business using publicity, social media, your newsletter, your website, all of that. We offer weekly training, usually on Wednesdays, to help you do this. Media contacts and editorial calendars are a part of that membership. If you are here for one editorial calendar only, this is not the right membership for you. I'll tell you that right now. However, this is my chance to help you broaden your mind and know that there are more outlets that you can be considering that will get your business press. Here's the thing about editorial calendars. You will never know what the themes are for the entire year. And I'll tell you why. And because of that, Tin Shingle has devised a scientific way of still helping you get what you want, which is knowing when to pitch the media at the right time. So an editorial calendar is a declaration by a magazine of when they're going to be publishing their innovation issue or their women in business issue or something like that. An editorial calendar is packaged inside of a media kit. A media kit is a very pretty PDF that a magazine makes for potential advertisers. So they're trying to sell ad space in a, an issue that would make a good fit for an advertiser to be in. We really encourage you to buy ads at magazines because that keeps them alive and it also gets your brand in front of a company or in front of readers uh, in a big way, in a controlled way as well. Here's the thing about editorial calendars that is not talked about, and it's why you're never gonna know what they are for the entire year, but you'll have some. I made you a diagram. Editorial calendars are released in January, usually, once. I don't know why, it's just like that. Magazines produce their publications seven months ahead of time. That is an unusual thing for a person like you and me to be thinking seven months ahead of time. I'm gonna give you an example. In the summer, or late spring, the magazines, the big ones, are working on their Thanksgiving issues. So they are cooking Thanksgiving dinner in the summer and making those recipes way in advance in the, su in the summer. And it's gonna publish later on. What are you doing in the summer? You're, you know, a business owner. Tin Shingle was made for business owners, artists, and makers. So what are you doing? You're like maybe by the pool, you're maybe checking out, you're maybe driving the kids to camp, it's really busy. But in the summer, that's when your big chance is to get into those holiday issues. Knowing this is what Tin Shingle helps you know about in our editorial collection. So not only do we provide you a topic, if we know it, for a certain month, like the women in business issue or the innovation issue or the best cities to live in issue, but we also provide you with a rotating date, okay? So when you go into our database, you'll see a couple things. A pitch no later than date and a newsstand date. So you will know when you should be pitching a magazine. When in your real life should you be pitching a magazine for like the December issue? How far back do you need to start? Um, that's what the most important thing you're gonna get from our editorial calendar collection. Now here's the thing of why you're never gonna get them for all year at the same time. Because the magazines release them like in January-ish, I mean sometimes in November, we start looking in October. By the time they release them, look at all the months that have passed. So you've missed all of these opportunities if you are just relying on an editorial calendar to tell you what's going on because they've like already published all those issues. 
So what we're doing at Tin Shingle to address this, this is where the scientific part comes in. For the bigger magazines that we do have old editorial calendars for, we're looking for patterns. Sometimes the magazine will run the same type of issue like every March. So at a magazine, they might have like movies for grown-ups might be a really big theme for them that they do focus on like every March. That's, that's good to know. So what we do is we're, we update the date for the pitch no later than date, but we also add our, our projection of what we think the broad theme might be. And we'll say based on the past two years, this magazine has dedicated October to the innovation issue. So it could be that. We usually will get confirmation if we can get it, but we can at least give you a projection. But still, the most important thing you can have are the dates of the pitch no later than. Other companies have tried to offer editorial calendars and they've stopped. Tin Shingle also stopped a couple years ago, but people wrote in and they said, we really miss them, we really want them back. So in order to give that to you in a useful way, we are making it scientific with our database. So you are not gonna get the, the media kit, the PDF that you can find from the, meet the magazine company. You can just email their ad department and they'll, get it, they'll send it right over to you. We make this into a database so that you can at least have the dates to know that you just, when the time is to pitch Mother's Day because you know if you want to get into the May issue or the April issue, you know the pitch no later than date is like months prior because our database presents it to you that way. So that is about our editorial collection. We are in the process of actually reconfiguring the editorial calendar database now to reflect this constant churn of the magazine's cycle. It used to be that our editorial calendars, when the, when the deadline passed, it would disappear from the website until January when we found a couple more. But by then you've missed so many and that is not helpful to you. So what we're doing now is creating a churn date for the, all of the cycles of a magazine. So while there might not be a confirmed topic, there is a cycle date. There is a date saying this is when you should pitch them. I hope that's helpful. Uh, this membership is monthly, so you can turn it on. You can join for the first month. If this calendar, editorial calendar collection is something you find useful, great. If it's not, you can cancel your membership. We don't offer refunds because there's a whole lot of other stuff in Tin Shingle that you will benefit from. So I'm gonna remind you, you do not need editorial calendars to pitch the media. I understand why you want them, and this is how we're helping you get them, at least get the publishing cycle dates. Tin Shingle is here to teach you how to pitch the media, how to cold pitch the media, how to think of your own ideas, how to think of timely ideas, because the most important thing you can do for yourself is to pitch the right person at the right time. That's why the dates are so important, the publishing cycle dates. It is your job to read a magazine, to subscribe to your favorite magazines, and read them and get comfortable with them. That's your homework, because when it comes time to pitching them, that becomes very easy. You've been reading the same writers, you kind of know, eventually your pitches are for a writer. But like, it's really good for them. It's a great fit because you've been following them for so long that you know what you know what's going to work for them. To be honest with you, Tin Shingle was designed for business owners, artists, and makers who are in. You're running your business. This is what you do. So you're thinking of the same kinds of things all the time, and all these different kinds of opportunities are good for you. If you are a PR person, if you work at a big media company, or if you're running your own PR shop, and you need a quick fix, I don't think Tin Shingle is for you, because it is designed for people who own their businesses, who are pitching the same kind of subject matter, who are doing their homework in that subject matter, are getting familiar with writers, with contributing writers, with editors, with their beats, 
and they're using Tin Shingles resources and our community in order to better and improve their pitches. So if you own your own business, if you work for a business as a communications director, so you're always knee deep in that business, Tin Shingles is a great fit for you. You're gonna be able to use our media contacts and these editorial calendar cycle dates to help you pitch. You're gonna be able to use our Pitch Whisperer Forum in our community boards to put in a draft of your pitch. Business owners are not afraid to try and to put themselves out there. If you're a publicity expert person, you might be a little bit more shy about that because that's, this is your expertise. Please don't be shy. Get our help. It's always good to get help from others. So we're happy the Tin Shingle community is here for you as well, if you're willing to put yourself out there and ask for help. So Tin Shingle is here to help you get ideas and get the gumption to put yourself out there and pitch the media any time you want without relying on editorial calendars. I hope you join Tin Shingle. I look forward to getting to know your business better. And if you have any questions at all, please email me at katie at tinshingle.com. Talk to you later.